So what are Dunnoisms? First off, this little post-existential ghost here is named Dunno. He's got a lot on his mind. And the Dunnoisms refer to his name, which uh, refers to the phrase don't know, or the fact that he's dead or done. Uh, basically, they're just sayings that you know, belong to his namesake. So there's a focus on economy of line and words in Dunnoisms. So to keep things very minimalist, but maximal effect, a less is more type of idea. He doesn't really move. He's just kind of got thoughts all the time <laughs> in the afterlife now that things are over, you know? <laughs> so this one says embellish on the fluff, if you can't read it. Uh, let's go back to some of the inspiration for Dunnoisms. If you don't know, this is a, there's a famous painter by the name of Jean-Michel Basquiat. Before he was a world famous painter, he was spray painting these sort of cryptic messages, uh, poetic statements around New York City in the 80s, and he would tag them as Samo, which was short for same old shit. Um, so uh, another person is Shepard Ferry, who became famous for uh, one of the, for the uh, Obama Hope campaign poster. He's done a lot of other things. When he was an art student, he was putting up these Andre the Giant stickers all over the place. Many people were putting them all over the place. I saw this one in a Detroit airport and decided to leave this ghost-it note <laughs> under it. Uh, this is the first time I ever drew Dunno, and a lot of people think he looks a lot like the Pac-Man ghosts, which no doubt is where some of the idea came from, but then <laughs> giving him more of a personality and a sensibility. Uh, he was the only thing I drew for a long time, so he kind of became an avatar or signature for <laughs> mixed CDs especially. Um, this is from the 2003 original Dunno flipbooks that I was doing while I was working in an art department on a feature film. And I would just draw this melancholy ghost over and over with these strange, weird little sayings, and that's kind of where that started, and th that kind of relates to America and in some ways. Um, then, in 2014, I started the Dunno Public Project. I was drawing Dunno on post-its, sticking them up places, taking photographs, leaving them there, hoping somebody might stumble across this, wonder what it is. You know, it's just a chance encounter with this sort of enigmatic graffiti, I suppose. <laughs> and uh, so the whole thing also is uh, steeped in impermanence, is a big part of it. And so by taking, you know, post-its, which we think about as reminders, small reminders, ghosts are sort of the afterlife, putting those two together, we kind of hope to create sort of a memento mori, a reflection on mortality and impermanence. And uh, therefore, you know, this one here, Tangled Up in Tangents, kind of encompasses the whole overall concept. I had th uh, hundreds of these pre-printed on pads that I could take with me and stick on things, take photos of, to, you know, post them later, tagging on social media where they were taken, you know, Dunno was here, basically. <laughs> so, um, aside from that, there's also other ways that Dunno haunts reality in public. Uh, that's through chalk art. So, you know, again, basically, uh, again, the theme of impermanence with the chalk art. You can see me here doing that one night, taken by a friend, actually. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's creating awareness and sort of spreading the word, so look out for them. Uh, full disclosure, I did spend a night in jail doing chalk art Dunnoisms one night, but uh, in case you're wondering, there was no uh, criminal wrongdoing or activity. I was, you know, no charges. I was just morally expressing myself in a sort of social activism way. And you can read all about this at AshevilleGrit.com, by the way, if you're interested. Uh, one of my, my personal favorites uh, from last year, the 2017, Anomalies Become Memories, and this relates pretty strongly to my whole love of, you know, wanting to shake things up, surprise people in their everyday life. Uh, you know, life can get pretty routine and, and mundane at times, but oftentimes what we remember are the moments that are special and <laughs> unexpected. There's some social commentary at times. When, and when uh, HB2 passed here in North Carolina, we saw a lot of clever uh, signage on bathrooms and don't know how to response, boycott and girl caught HB2. So there you go. Um, also, we've got, there's, uh, there's other issues here uh, with having to do with a, a big tourist economy, service industry, uh, just in general concerns about sustainability, affordability, and living wages. Uh, Tourist-driven economy, again, that's tangled up in tourists there. Uh, here we see the Dunno About Asheville uh, postcards. These are sort of meta postcards. One is a postcard of postcards featuring uh, familiar vistas here in Asheville. The other is on a scale model of Pack Square, which is the heart of downtown and is changing rapidly, if you don't know. Uh, so we don't know where Asheville's going. 
Uh, this brings us to the merchandising and product aspect of phase of Dunoisms. I started with the postcards, moved on to stickers and magnets and koozies and mugs and button pins and t-shirts and reusable shopping bags. So you can, you can find those around town or talk to me later. Uh, these are the Dunno About Asheville Beer koozies and the Watch Out For Falling Metaphors coffee mug. Um, if you, I mean, Dunno is in many ways all about the Asheville beer scene, but maybe also a little bit skeptical about the long term. Uh, and, and in general, probably a lot of things he's skeptical about. But nonetheless, we have nearly 50 breweries here, and so we're known as Beer City. This one says temporarily contemporary, and this was uh, stuck onto the window of Zapau Art Gallery before they were forced out of the location due to significant raise in their rent. And this one, fun fact, is on an original Dunoism. I saw this on a dumpster in Los Angeles, and it resonated with me. This here, I've always wanted to have Dunno murals, and I figure this is, video projectors would be a great way to go. These are light projections around the world, and I like the idea of people stumbling across a, a big, huge mural at night on the side of a building or wall of this ghost and wondering, what is this? And then, again, it's gone. And lastly, these are some uh, public Dunno's, oh, uh, sorry, uh, guest Dunno's. These are Dunnoisms drawn by other people, which I always enjoy and encourage. Um, I like the idea that these could be anonymous, not just attributed to me. You know, who drew this? Don't know. Uh, uh, what does it mean? Don't know. Uh, what's next? Who knows? Thank you. <laughs>